what did I say earlier about the Resident Evil 6 premium collectors? Oh my fucking god, it, did you take out a loan to buy this edition? With a replica of Leon's pleather, it, it's not fucking leather, get the fuck over it. Leather jacket. And now they're really considering, they're like, hmm, this, this, this might work. They're really considering bringing it over stateside. See, it's kind of funny, because if you, there's a link down, down below, okay, so if you info and just go and click on that, you'll be able to see it, but uh, it, it's, would you buy this? Now, right now, as I'm making this video, over 400 people have voted, and over 70% of the votes have been no. Thankfully, lots of people apparently have common sense and have a wallet that they give a shit about it instead of just lighting on fire and saying, fuck it, <laughs> here we go, I don't really need it, but it, look, look at it, it's smoking. Oh, uh, yeah, but they're really considering this. I mean, as if it wasn't already a bad enough idea, now they're just like, you know what? I think we can make this shit worldwide. I mean, fuck it in Japan. No, you don't, you know. It, it really, it just boils down to them making sounds, you know. Unintelligible fucking sounds, maybe a little bit of drooling, a little fucking cross-eyed bullshit. And they're just like, that's a great idea. I just think we'll... No. People just want to play Resident Evil 6. And you want to know, if you want to make a premium edition... It, that isn't fucking just right with stupidity. Here, I'll give you exactly what I would like to see in a collector's edition. So this will be the Alpha Omega Sins Resident Evil 6 Premium Edition. Holy shit, you'd have my money. Just like that. <coughs> Resident Evil 6. With all the content on it, no, I don't want fucking downloadable codes and shit like that. Fuck you, it should be on the disc. So I, I want the game as it should be. And beyond that, I would like a full, and on a separate disc, mind you, a fully playable version of Resident Evil 1.5. That's the original version of Resident Evil 2. If none of you know about that, just type in Resident Evil 1.5. So, yeah, type that in. But, yeah, I, I would like a fully playable version of that. And, you know, fuck it, while we're at it, I want a fully playable version of Resident Evil 3.5. Again, just type that in, you'll see what I'm talking about. Anyhow, so, go and include those. I will be happy as all fucking hell. You don't want to include those? I don't know. Give me something really cool. I mean, I like figures and everything. Look, I got a Leon figure right there. Maybe give me a Leon figure or a Chris figure. Uh, them looking real badass and fucking in a standoff against one another. I have no clue. Something like that would be really fucking badass, and that always makes me really happy to put up on a shelf somewhere. But ideally, I, I want something that it seems a lot better than just a silly fucking leather coat that is going to cost over a thousand dollars. Over a thousand dollars, just... <sighs> I mean, I already beat the shit out of that in the video, which if you, if you haven't seen that, then, um, I don't know. I'll put a link right there. Look at that! Woo! Do -do 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 -do. So, yeah, I already beat the shit out of the concept of them trying to do that, but it... <laughs> The, the fucking audacity that you have to go and say, yeah, you know what, let's make that happen over in the States. And, and don't think all you in the PAL regions are safe. It, this fucking Capcom we're talking about, they'll be dumb enough. They'll be dumb enough to go and bring it everywhere, worldwide. And, you know, what's going to be even worse, and I was actually bullshitting with everybody on the Hate It podcast about this, is, you know damn well, once this shit drops, some of the people that imported it are going to be doing unboxing videos. Which I've done my fair share of unboxing videos, you know, there's some cool shit to be found as collector's editions and everything. But, can you imagine, like, the hulking fucking fat dude who's like, alright, and they put it on, and I shit you not, it'll come up to, like, here on them, they're like, Do I look like... Leon Kennedy, can't get my hands together to act like I'm holding a gun. Oh. Oh. Blood type margarine. Oh. oh, turning is a lot of work. I should have bought a more stable swivel chair that wouldn't break after 400 pounds of pressure. But I just imagine something like that happening, and I'm just like, oh gosh, that can't be good. Now, the interesting thing is that the, the coats, they, they do come in a variety of sizes, but you know damn well that they have a limited amount of them, so small, medium, large, extra large. So the, the ultra husky people, shit out of fucking luck. And, and 
most people there are small to a medium, guarantee all that shit's gonna be snagged up immediately, because if it's in Japan, most of them aren't hulking fucking people, that means you're gonna have a lot of trouble getting your hands on them and gonna be stuck with a large. But anyhow, I just... I, I really just don't fucking like this concept, you already know that, it's just, it's fucking idiotic to think that they're even fucking trying to consider it and they have a poll up, so I say, how about this, in the link, go vote, go vote if you, it, hell, if you want to see it happen, you completely disagree with me, that's absolutely fucking fine, everybody's entitled to their, their opinion, my opinion on the matter is it's a fucking retarded ass concept and an idea and just shouldn't be happening, okay, leave this to the fucking professional cosplayers that go and invest all the time and money to make themselves actually look as dolled up and fucking accurate as the characters they're portraying, we don't need some other fucking shit like this, especially over a thousand dollars, and I don't want to hear any goddamn bullshit out of anybody saying, well, a good leather guy. It's like, look, I could seriously do a Google search and, like, 100% find genuine leather, and you want to know what? None of that shit's popped up at over fucking 1300 And the rest of the shit that they're including in the game is definitely not making up the fucking difference of, well, I mean, besides leather coat, you're also getting, oh, you're getting some, uh, slip covers. Oh, boy. That's... Nope, that's all you get. So, yeah, uh, they're really asking people. <laughs> I mean, you won't give us another Breath of Fire game whatsoever, you won't give us another Haunting Grind, you won't give us, I don't know, another Clock Tower game, um, but you, you are really trying to make this happen, you're really all about that. Ah, I just want to grab you by your little face now. <sighs> so... Naturally, I had to go and talk about this, because it was funny, and uh, I had to go uh, and thank all you lovely people out there for sharing the info with me. <sighs> I, I, I'm seriously just, like, still kind of overwhelmed with the concept, like, they're, they're really asking, just, fuck all, fuck all, end all, and uh, be all, end all, just, uh, sorry, I'm, now I'm thinking of uh, Anthrax songs. Anyhow, so... What's your opinion on this? Do you think it's really worth buying? What did you vote whenever you went to the little Capcom thing? And no, you don't actually have to sign in. You can just go and vote. Naturally, I voted no. No. So, you know, you can go and vote. Share your opinions on it. I mean, it's a Leon Kennedy, genuine leather, replica, coat, blah, blah, blah. That's the only reason why you'd really be buying the fucking thing, because everything else is inadequate by comparison. You know what you're really paying for? If you think it's going to be awesome, yay! If you think, like me, that it's an absolute fucking ripoff, then yay! W whatever the case is, share your thoughts or your opinions and all that other stuff! So, as always, this is Alpha Omega Sin, nerds, nerdettes, and gamers. Game the fuck on. <laughs>